hello and this is just going to be like sort of a teaser kind of and basically a like story so this is inspired by Trixie Blocks's uh, builds he's a youtuber who builds minecraft builds that are amazing and takes time and takes a lot of time out of his life and so uh, why not just like take some time out of yours to go visit his channel and maybe some to him his builds are like very like it's very good and we are uh, first going to be doing the underground kingdom uh, uh, hit their lore and like I'm just going to build off of it for now since uh, because I'm going to incorporate the dream SMP with the uh Sorry if there's background sound. Sorry, I don't have control over that. Uh, so this is like basically lore from already his build. And my interpretation and my sort of twist on it. Okay, so we're going to call it Thalrith because uh, you need to give it a name, dude. And like, it was just like kind of nice name so I just like why not so uh if there's any like similarities or if you find this nice just put in some extra like uh if you want like some extra lore in there uh just put in the comments I don't mind uh maybe gonna uh, go into like the final like cut you know and also if you uh like my what ifs and or new go subscribe uh and yeah okay let's get into like the backstory or the lore of Thalrith <clears throat> Thalrith an underground kingdom that was built by the four founders and their followers after their quest of finding the nether star and defeating the wither but after Others wanted the power and tried to eliminate them, so they ran away with their loyal followers and they built the civilization to protect it and not let it be in the hands of evil. In the castle, the crown of the kingdom, and where it powered the kingdom entirely, the kingdom was powered by the power of the Nether Star and the four founder swords with nether crystals embedded in them that were discovered after they found the nether star. Over the eternal time of building the kingdom, it was finished. The founders knew they couldn't protect their beloved kingdom forever, so they decided to turn themselves into stone so they could protect, so they could power the kingdom permanently for all eternity while the nether star continuously powered also powered their beloved kingdom. Their descendants of the followers and their descendants then came to reign the kingdom and their successors and next generations entrusted them with guiding the next generation to fortune in the years to come and share the stories of the past and the history of the past. Okay, that's the lore I came up with. Uh, sorry if it's a bit wonky, you know? Like, you can totally add more if you wanted, and, uh... So, this is my take on, uh, Thalrith, if I incorporated the Dream SMP, and it's gonna be the Bench Trio who finds it, you know? Thalrith, the underground kingdom that was discovered by Tommy, Tubbo, and Rambu, where they ran away and found their kingdom, and found the guardians of stone, and gained their abilities, but Rambu got two of them due to his split heritage. The swords then came to them and turned into their own personal weapons, and then Rambu, with two of the knight's powers, gets dual wields two of his personal weapons. Being the protege of the guardians of Thalrith, they are now... The, also the rulers of Thalrith by law. 
After knowing this, they decided as a group to help those who have nowhere to go to pri and provide them with shelter and food. Over the years, they gained subjects that would lay down their lives for them and would call them the three great kings, but they are strong enough to take on almost anyone except each other by default, Rambu is the strongest because he took two of the Guardian's abilities, but they refuse to fight each other in any conditions. In the kingdom, their presence affected the environment, which caused crystals to emerge from the walls and tunnels, making purple crystals, yellow crystals, and red crystals. The purple crystals would make particles near them and would fill with poison in it. It had... To, but it had to be sanded and into a weapon but the person in the pe but the people who lived in the cave seemed to not be affected living there for so long became immune the yellow crystals pollinated the glowing mushrooms at the bottom of the cave and was a kind of medicine if crushed into a powder and with herbs and could heal the ones who had been affected by the poison of the other crystal The red crystals would give fire aspect when into a weapon, and then w the one who wielded it wanted the item or person to go in flames and control the flames to their will if they had enough will. Over years, shit, I did something real quick. Sorry. Over the years, they realized that in age, the f fuck. Over the years, they realized they didn't age, that, that, sorry, uh, someone is annoying me right now. It's a fucking bug. Okay. Over the years, they realized they didn't age, that noticed the nether star was keeping them young, but they didn't know for how long, so they decided to try to make a child that could be the heir for the kingdom they discovered together so they can imbe combine their power with the nether star to create the child that was izuku or they named them ray darius darius which means kingly in greek and ray in in spanish meaning king but i'm going to call him izuku in this story if we get to it the future king of Daurith of Thaurith, and the holder of all four knights' abilities. Okay. God damn, my arm feel like shit. Maybe it's because of the vaccine, I don't know. Okay, so, this other one is very long, and it's based off of an uh, animation from, that is called Bus Money from It's Your Girl Vita and a uh explanation exclamation mark i'm pretty sure in the middle of girl and vita so go check them out they're very cool animators so go show them some love okay so the bench trio and this is my head cannons this doesn't actually happen or it is or explained in the actual video i think it's really cool so yeah and also, like, it may trigger somebody because uh, of, like, addictions and stuff. So if you don't like it, you can just, like, try to skip. And, yeah, sorry if uh, it does trigger anyone. So the Bench Trio basically ran away from the Dream SMP from their expectations and responsibilities and punishments for doing things wrong, even though they're kids and not supposed to be giving all these responsibilities, like ruling a nation and serving in wars in picking insides, so they ran away with the little money they had and got addicted to drinking, smoking, and he's, Rambu found out that he needs medication, needs to take medication to stop sleepwalking slash enderwalking and not to hurt anyone around him. But with them being broke, they can barely accommodate for their addictions, so they try to help each other out at least a little bit. So they steal their addictions and resources, and they couch surf and stay in abandoned houses and and hotels that seem new or new enough, 
and uh, a headcanon uh, I have is that they all have night terrors and they all go to each other in each other's room to cuddle together and they go back to sleep. Tommy is embarrassed by the fact that he does this but still looks for them at night when he has night, night terrors. terrors. T- uh, Rambo is a bit guilty when he wakes them up when he has a night terror and he apologizes a lot. And then Tubbo just likes the warmth of others and helps him go to sleep, and I think it's adorable. Another headcanon. When Rambo, uh, headcanon, Ra- Rambo, when he does end her walk, he looks for to- uh, Tub- Tommy and Tubbo because he instinctively knows they will help him, but his ender walking uh, has gotten better and has not hurt t- Tommy or Tubbo. I mean, just them. He will attack if they get hurt, when he's in his ender walking and even in objects he will break which leads to a lot of stuff getting destroyed on accident because they actually cut or bruised them and ender walking rambo took that personally and you're walking rambo will pick flower flowers and make flower crowns whenever and then he just and when he passes them tommy and tubbo he'll just like place them on their heads and then they notice that and then they hug him to thank him and then he'll just wake up and be confused as fuck and then it turns into a explanation of what he did and put like flowers on their heads and how he was ender walking so yeah that's funny (laughs) okay uh underwater kingdom we're gonna call it neptune Neptune, the Roman god of the ocean, but the knockoff version of the Greek god of the sea, Poseidon. <clears throat> Neptune, the underwater kingdom built by the people of the sea, and the founder was the god of the ocean, foolish, <coughs> which built it to hide it from humans and their corrupted minds. The city was powered by a conduit, which was created by the god of the ocean to protect the city and disguised it to the rest of the world the people who lived and served and loved the ocean god for giving them a place to call home and resources to even build in the future if they wanted to do so so they made them wanted to make them proud so they worked hard to make their kingdom beautiful and uh, i don't think uh, has to put any lore i don't think he has put any lore in the building yet since it's only has like two parts so yeah i just took it and tried to like do things okay my incorporation of the smp into the underwater building build a uh, foolish as the god of the sea made it to keep his subjects safe and since he couldn't be in the ocean all the time he decided to make a king so he made foolish junior or or should i say izuku the new king to be the new king so he made yeah and taught him to be kind and a just ruler since it is his and he needs to take care of it what is it a pet and so foolish junior izuku ruled and he had a son no sorry uh and foolish junior would be the next ruler of neptune so yeah sorry i know it's not a lot but like it looks a lot like in my screen so yeah also uh i only use this one because it couldn't get a like a very nice view of like it like this like if only I, it put like a little bit more pizzazz you know just like a little bit more But I also have news, so I'm just gonna, like, do it. I wanna place you... Mm. I'll place... Hmm. I'll place you here. Okay. So, uh, the, um... So, this, like, the under... Gra- uh, underwater uh, build is probably gonna like take over the foolish what if because we're gonna just like also uh, 
I really do want to do the foolish what if, but like, I'm caught up with different ones, so yeah. Uh, but I can read the um, the what if that I had before, like right now, since like I hadn't like done it really a lot. So I'll just like read it to you, like the continuation, and you'll see like where I stopped and like didn't continue it so yeah sorry i'm just like okay last time uh izugu locked uh looked confused and inko sat him down and talked about it okay this is izuku's pov i sat down on the couch and stayed quiet while she started to explain of an old, of an old, the old couple at the door, and she said, "I had an uh, under uh, a one night stand with your father, but I was drunk and didn't know since I was alone. When I woke up, when my parents found out, I was kicked out because I didn't want to abort you, and since I was only seventeen, I went to the hospital bill and was given was given to my parents since I was uh, they didn't." do any legal work so i w- so i wasn't their daughter so they still had to pay when you were born you were wonderful and rarely cried when i was pregnant i had to stay with my parents since i was still a minor i saved up money to get an apartment and get you out of get out of my parents house since they were trying to convince me to abort you and i and i quote she wouldn't be able to take care of it and you would put it in an adoption anyway i was furious by their claims and promised myself i would move out right after you were born at first uh i at first didn't mind having a baby and i was actually excited since i always wanted a child of my own but i didn't think it would be so soon when uh was in the hospital i turned 18 of course it was after they paid for the hospital service after i brought bought the house i cut off all connections with the parent with my parents and left so this is a fun fact when i was actually doing this like bit i was watching buzzfeed unsolved on the axeman i was while being distracted and my parents was looking at me weirdly for giggling to myself in the corner in the living room because you know like the funny moments in between everything so like and then I'll just like summary it up parents grandparents come back try to convince Izuku to let them in and he just like I'm legally not allowed to do that so slam the door so and then like he got like uh like paid to like do a building and then they noticed they couldn't use their quirks and then there were like meetings and stuff with or the government and stuff and gangs and and stuff so that happened and he just didn't care as long and uh yeah okay so this is the pov of izuku and like this is a little stuff uh, like a little bit of it my files were viewed by the government and seen my quirk and went out their way to try to get me into a hero school but i have no interest in being a hero or anything like that and they even tried to guilt trip me but i'm not easy to break especially under pressure so yeah uh that's basically what happened and stuff so uh, if you have any like any other head cannons or ideas then just put them in the comments in this one i love to see your new ideas and uh little nightmares yeah uh, that's coming out soon and also uh sorry uh my origin smp tubbo au i mean deku is gonna come out in a bit like not in like the, this day but like maybe next week sorry and also, what if Deku was in the SCPAU of the Dream SMP? Yeah, that's coming out soon. That's coming out very soon. Since it's already complete. Not completed, but like, 
the next part, you know? So this is London Silver. Go visit my my Twitter. And this is London Silver. And have a good day, night, evening, wherever the hell you are in this world. Uh, just have a good one. Bye.